Oh, oh my, my god. god, he put them all in. Incredible. And that is five time bank cards. Incredible bluff shove on the river. I'm not gonna like this one. Folded to Manik Lurza, who's got King Jack offsuit. He's raised it to 60,000. And now it's going to be on Brian Delaney. Both of us. 100% that was playing 24. OK, so top pair I think it was you. for Manig Lurza. <laughs> a gut shot straight draw Just for Brian like Delaney. Uh, a continuation oh, bet of 50k called by Delaney. Always coming seven. Board pairs on the turn. And Lurza is now a 95% favorite. Yeah, and when you're, you know, calling these kind of hands out of the blinds, flopping something like this, facing a small blet. You need to have the gear of leading the turn card that would pair sort of the middle card. We see this a lot because it does favor your range. It makes it very difficult to play against if, you know, your opponent is sitting there with, let's say, I don't know, ace queen high or king ten high. But of course, Lozer is actually way high up in his range with the King Jack and will be very happy to call this. Yeah, interesting lead from Delaney and Lurz is going to call the 225k and we are going to the river with 715,000 in the middle. It's the three of diamonds, so we now have a double paired board. It's bricked out for Delaney. Is going to go for it here um, with an extremely large bet. Is that an over bet? Are those all Oh, oh my, my god. god, he put them all in. Incredible, incredible bluff shove on the river, and loser oh. is just completely handcuffed here. I, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to find a call. Really amazing stuff, and does make the fold. Let's it go, and Brian Delaney moves up over 4.3 million. All right, so in the cutoff now, our hero held. Ace, deuce of spades, going to go ahead and open for the min. Nicholas Astet on the big blind. Going to defend Jack-9 suited. Of course he is. What a pretty hand, right, Maria? Yeah, definitely one that I think all players would love to see in the blinds. Happy to put just a little more money in. So we got Jack-10-8 on the flop. So it's straight now for... Lena 900. Another trap, eh? Another trap. Did I bust it? I think it's the Hublot square bang. Done for tonight? Uh, okay, I think you might be right. Looks like the correct band as well. That was quick. Yeah, right. Is Held really going to fire now with the ace deuce of spades, though? Yeah, this looks like it is going to work <laughs> this one with Ashtet checking yeah. over. <laughs> you should, you should Not drawing dead, though, of course. The King could come on the river. I mean, Maria, if you're if you're just gonna check the turn, you're not gonna lead your straight. You gotta be checking river as well, right? You really gotta give him the keys to the Lambo, so to speak, James. <laughs> what is? Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! So it's all into call <laughs> now. Obviously, we can see that Ulsted has the best hand with the straight. But this is a straighty, flushy paired board. He is being beaten by flushes and full houses. I will say that I think Lena's able to take any full houses, most full houses, out of his range just because if he had any sets at any point, I think, you know, if he flopped a set, let's say, and had a set of jacks or tens yeah, or, you know, bet. even eights and make quads. He would bet those given the flop texture, I think. And so, you know, now it's just about would this person check back the flop with, you know, let's say a, a good flush draw, like an ace high flush draw perhaps, and then bet the turn with those types of hands. Small flush, any good? Oh, wow. Asking if a small oh. flush is any good just... Oh man! Because he's he's feeling like a small flush and a straight is pretty much the same hand strength here. Trying to get a read off of Held. Tough with Held wearing the sunglasses. Probably really glad he has them on right now. I would not <laughs> want a Lena 900 stare down. Yeah. 
Is he going to oh, this? Oh, wow. This? He folds the straight. He folds the best hand. Held to bluff. Gets through. We're going to start with Harry Lodge making it 100,000 with ace nine off. Big go. Queen Jack suited in the small blind. Still just has 25 bigs. Big go wants to see a flop. Hopefully doesn't get squeezed out of the big B. Jordan, ace four offsuit. And it looks like Jorgna is going to let him live. Three ways to the flop. Multi-way action. Ace in the window. Ace, Jack, Deuce. Pair of jacks for Big O. Top pair for Lodge and Jorgna. Jorgna in big, big trouble for now. Let's see what sizing Lodge comes with. Small enough that Big O can still stick around for another card and then... As you had mentioned, Jorgna in big trouble with his kicker. Really interesting turn card, though. Jorgna picks up outs. Big O picks up outs. Yeah, I agree, Maria. If you're going to be in there with Ace-4, I think you're definitely going to overcall here every time. I think you probably should as well. Just have to see if Lodge wants to put in another bet here or perhaps check back the turn and find some river bets, depending on the river card. But it looks like... He will go once more. I think Lodge can find this value bet on the turn also because he does have Big O's range Ooh, baby! Pegged. Oh, hello. Wow. Big O finds the shove. Gordon uh, giving those cards another look. Probably knows he's saying goodbye to them relatively soon. There they go. Back on Lodge. Yeah, Lodge putting in that value bet on the turn. Put him in this tough situation now, facing this check shove all in by Bago. But if he can reason this one out, he's going to be pleasantly surprised. And that is five time bank cards. The card snap often means it's a fold wow. on the way. Lodge. Torch is five time banks and the best hand. Pretty tough spot. So and tough. how about a round of applause for Fabrice Bigot? Not gonna like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.